yesterday i think we started with a demo for a web application there yeah? and we were developing the simple login okay uh, login uh, how it should be uh, but of course we want to use cookie and we want to use session also okay and cookie would be used for remembering the login right the login details can be remembered so next time automatic login can be done okay we'll see how automatic login because uh, that code for automatic login is not yet done in our example okay first thing will be about having the cookie but then we should also be doing something like checking the cookie okay and that should also be done right okay let's see uh, how do we enable that checking of cookie and uh, that part will will have to add later okay but first let's uh, see uh, Okay, how to make the application work? Getting the login page and the home page. Uh, we have a welcome page already. I think a login page also. We have created the JSP file. Okay, and I think what we were doing was uh, we were de uh, developing the login servlet. Yeah, right. Okay, so login servlet is invoked when someone submits the uh, login ID and password. Achha, yeah. Now one more thing. Uh, one more uh, thing which comes into picture is uh, we will need a mechanism to uh, check the user, right? The login ID and password will have to be checked somewhere. Okay. Fine. So for that, what should we do? Uh, can we keep it in a separate file? Fine. A CSV file. Uh, we may not go for. Uh, uh, JDBC uh, right now, right? Uh, not going for a table at this moment. I'm creating a table. Okay, and we can uh, just have one simple text file. Okay, where uh, CSV uh, can be there, right? Comma separated values. We can uh, store the login ID, password, full name, address, city. Okay, other details of the user can be stored. Right. Okay, so let's start. Uh, okay, but then we'll also need to be able to read from there. Okay, from architecture point of view. Okay, uh, yeah, but once it is ready, let's see uh, what the servlet should be doing. Yeah, login servlet should be. Okay, so uh, a few parts I had shown. The very first thing any servlet would do is fetch the required parameters okay that's first thing normally okay uh, then yes uh, then we have to do this part okay if login id and password combination is not valid set a error message in the request and forward to login gsp okay so okay uh, fine we can code for that okay so that we can see that it is forwarding back to login dot gsp Okay, so we can have a uh, we can have one separate class which can be used for so it will be a simple Java class which will be used for uh, fetching details of the user. Okay, so there is some class which can fetch me details of the user. So other user details could be in a file or it could be hard coded in your Java code also. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Let's find one more. Okay, let's have it in the Java code, right? The user details. Yeah. One second, let the package part come. Now it won't be so late. Uh, let it be up to academic. Okay, dot data and here. Let me create a data access object uh, as a separate package. Okay, because here we are trying to access the data basically. Okay, and so we use this object purely for accessing the data related to the user. Okay, fine. Uh, we will have public class and user DAO. Okay. 
Yeah. So, uh, what are the methods you would uh, expect in this class? Let's first think on the methods. Okay. So, it can have a method to return the user info object. So, this is the one who can create a user info. Okay. Uh, if someone says, uh, and we can have it like this, like, okay, a method, we can give the method name as authenticate also. Okay. So, there is a method called authenticate. Uh, it takes two parameters, a string for the uh, login ID and another string for the password. Okay. And here, if it is valid, can create an object or it would return a null. Okay. It would return null in case this uh, password uh, ID password combination is not valid. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you want to have a map, right? In which so uh, so for our for the time being, instead of using a database, what we might do is we might manage a map. Okay. Okay, for fetching user data, let's see how, how we would have user data. Uh, okay. okay. So this would be a map of string where the first string is a uh, login ID and second one. Okay, so we can have two, uh, there can be basically two different maps. One map will be for passwords. Okay, let me. Okay, so there will be one map for the passwords and another map will be for the user info. Okay. Okay, fine. So, uh, these are the two things we would like to manage, fine, within this. The first one, to do the validation, fine, authentication, if uh, is valid, then we can fetch this, okay. So, yeah, we want hard coded, right. We, we are not going for, uh, currently, without looking at any database, fine. So, in this code itself, we will have the map creation and everything that happening here itself, okay. You will probably need okay. You might need from Java util, and so you can have a private variable of type map of string, comma, string passwords equal to okay. We would create a new like this. Uh, you know how to create a map, any factory method you are aware of, how to create a map, okay, I will show you something, fine, I will show you some part of the Java API, okay, fine, so Java documentation if you want to look at. It's in the downloads probably. Uh, let me check the bookmarks. Uh, I might have kept it in a bookmark. Hmm. 
there's Java 18 and that should be good enough. Uh, we do have that method there. Let me just show. Okay. We have seen the uh, collection framework, right? We know the collection framework. Okay. So there, uh, okay, I'll just show a few things here. Okay, we have the interfaces. Uh, there's an interface called map. Okay. And map has methods and there are these static methods which can be used for creating a map by using the one is uh, off. Okay, this is an, uh, see one static method called entry key value to create a map dot entry. Okay, and there is another method called off entries of entries which says okay, you can give me any number of map dot entries. Okay. Fine. So, we have to use combination of these two fine, to create a map. Okay. Fine. So, it is like this map dot of entries. Okay. And what is the parameter to this? Okay. Yeah. So, what do we pass here? map dot of entries parameter should be map dot entry right and how do we get a map dot entry map dot entry and you can check here there is this other earlier method which we saw was entry entry okay and just pass key to a key and value right so key can be uh, you want some uh, Let's say you want to call it user one. Uh, let's say features, okay. And password can be okay. Fine. Right, so uh, yeah, this comma. So, like this, you can add more entries. And so, you can be creating more users. And so like this, okay. So uh, what? So uh, let's say, okay, I keep three entries like this, right? So this is the first map which we have created, okay. And the second map, right, which will be for the same user, same set of users. Okay, uh, let me just copy paste and create the other map. String comma. We want the user info. Okay. Recollect, we already have a class called user info. We need one import for that. Okay, uh, so first part will be this, but second will be new object of the user info. It has a constructor with three parameters. Uh, uh, I think we had three or how many parameters constructor? User info we did yesterday. User info class. Okay, name, address, and city. Right, the constructor with three parameters: name, address, and city. And the name, address, and city. Name is.
address will be okay. Well, that's a city and Uh, we'll need one more bracket for the enter. Yeah, same with this one. I'm not sure where he is. Uh, okay, uh, let's add this one. Okay, you need one import for the user info class to be available, right? It's not directly available. Uh, import Java dot util not, not Java. It will be import Java dot uh, org dot role wala. Right? We have that uh, in the model. We have the user info. And from where that will be available. Okay, and so the, I just uh, I shown you how a map, hard coded map, can be there just for the purpose of testing if you want to do something. Okay, fine. Uh, now, if someone wants, uh, you know, you want to authenticate method, a username password combination is given. So, how do you now how do you check this? Given a username and password, login ID and password, yeah. Uh, okay, from this, how do you fetch? Now you know the two maps are available, right? You know which are the two maps? There is a map for the passwords, right? So one map contains. If we don't want to, uh, you know, all the user information is not along with the password. So passwords are in a separate map, okay? And for the same users, okay, for the same login IDs, we have the other information, okay? So we created the object uh, with the information. Where they have their full name. Yeah? Yes. So now, uh, how do you uh, authenticate? Yeah. First, you'll have to check with the. You're given only login ID and password. Yeah. Yeah. If. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. You may probably do this string. equals passwords dot get right? get for this login id right fine so this will either be null okay if this login id at all is uh, is not there it would be null right even if login id is there you now have the password if it is there okay fine now how do you check if equals or you can put a not right Then otherwise now he is otherwise he is valid right that means he is uh, equals okay so otherwise what should we do return we are assuming both of them are correctly populated okay that means for every entry in the password there is also entry in the user infos Oh, we don't return false we return null sorry uh, we are actually uh, trying to return a null fine clear we are returning a null and uh, when it is not valid if not valid return a null if valid return the user info okay this should return the user info okay fine so we have this uh, let's assume this kind of a class which we can now use in our uh, servlet login servlet okay let's save this uh, we created where uh, package was in academic one second what was the package name dao okay fine so here create a folder for Okay, and there we'll save this as what was it? User user do dot java. Okay, fine. So this has been saved. Fine. So for the time being, uh, uh, your users, you'll have to do two things, okay? Add here, uh, as well as make another entry in this one. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. So entry in both the maps, okay? Your ID should be the same, login ID, first parameter. Second parameter will be the user info object. Okay. And here is the authenticate method. That's what we will call from the login servlet. So what login sublet should have? It should first get hold of the, see one thing, uh, we will need the object of user DAO, okay, user DAO. This object must be created and be available in the login sublet, okay. So once this is there, first thing is, let's create the object of, okay. So, Okay, and then user info equals and we got the login ID as a parameter thing. We have received that and we have got the password. 
So we tag this. Okay. So this is how we fetch our user object. And if user is null, okay, then we should forward to the login JSP. But before forward, forwarding to login JSP, set up an error message, right? So let's first set up an error message. Okay. How do we set up an error message? And we would set it up in the request object. Set attribute and what's attribute name? Let's call it user and the object is the user object. Okay, fine. So we created one. Uh, oh, sorry, it's not the user we have got. Uh, sorry, it's a message. And here, yeah, this what's a message? Fine, we have to just keep this message, okay. And once this message is given. Yeah, it's in the if part. Yeah. So if uh, so within this if right. So if uh, user is invalid, set up a message and then we would like to forward. Okay. To forward, how do we do the forwarding? Request dispatcher. Equals. Yeah. Get servlet context dot get request dispatcher or get named a dispatcher whichever way when we have two options right there is a servlet name for the login dot gsp when we would like to now go to forward to the login gsp right okay get uh, yeah named dispatcher and get name dispatcher we have the login gsp i think that was the name we gave yesterday uh, we'll have to check with the web xml what's the name we have given this is welcome these are for here is the welcome gsp uh acha we haven't given anything for the login JSP, is it? Okay, uh, login JSP has not been entered here, but I think login JSP is in the home itself. Okay, if it is in the home, you might just okay. Let's not go with the named dispatcher. We can go with get request dispatcher. Okay. And we'll just say slash login. Okay. When a login dot JSP is in the root, that's what I believe. Yeah. Okay. And so this is how you create a request dispatcher, and then you would like to forward to it. So forward request in which we have already set an attribute. We have set up the message and we have to just give the response here. Okay. Fine. And after this, just return. Fine. Don't let it fall and go into some other processing below this. Okay. And no other processing after this. Okay. It should just. So if you do a forward, ensure you are not doing anything after that in this method. Okay. It has to return out of the method after a forward. Okay. Or the forward may be the last thing you have in your. And code okay so this is one aspect clear so this is like oh, we should be able to test this at least okay and here yeah uh, what is it that we should be doing yeah we would like to set up the cookies right if the remember is there or oh, we would like to set up those cookies and then and then what forward to the home JSP. But before forwarding to the home JSP, what are the other things to be done? Okay. You would like to now 
because it is a successful login you want to start tracking the user right his activities now can be tracked okay fine so he is a valid user and we need to keep tracking this user okay so if you want to start tracking the user what should be done how do you start tracking a user okay what is needed to uh, track a user to track a user cookies you cannot rely on cookies very much okay it's not something which is very reliable cookies someone may uh, just remove the all the cookies but it's like uh, you know he is logged in till he logs out I, i just want to keep tracking him yeah one is cookie which is on the client side right what is the other thing session session right so you would now need a http session okay now one thing what can happen probably uh, uh, though it's not uh, uh, normally in the normal flow it should not happen but by some chance okay it can happen he is already logged in and he is still again giving a login request okay so what do we do if he is already logged in and there's another login request from him okay in that case the earlier login whatever activities he has done we would like to discard it okay fine we should first discard whatever he was doing earlier okay and then start a new session so any earlier session needs to be removed so how do you get rid of any earlier uh, session so how do we do this right how do we discard any earlier session equals how do you get a session you get it from the request okay but here use it with false okay fine you use false so you are not creating a new session now okay if there is a earlier session we will get it okay so any previous activity just want to get uh, forget everything from there okay so what should be now done if session is not equal to null okay that means he was already logged in earlier okay there is some previous session available for him okay then session dot invalidate okay this is how you uh, forget everything from the session which was created earlier which may have been created earlier okay fine so at this place fine uh, when he is at uh, so uh, at line 36 now okay at this place now we are free to create a new session fine we don't have a valid session at all okay no earlier valid session okay so in that case now you say okay session equals request dot get session okay here you can either say true or even if you don't pass anything it actually means get session true okay so now a session gets created okay so this is always going to create a new session okay with the login we are going to create a new session any earlier session we are discarding okay we ensure that we have discarded it okay fine and once the session is there yeah what should we do uh have we done the authentication and got a user object yeah we have a valid user object and we'll place that user object as an attribute now okay so now it should be session dot set attribute so we will like to remember the user throughout the session
okay session dot set attribute and what is it that we are interested in setting that attribute uh, attribute for the user and it's the user object which we are setting as the attribute here and the type is user info okay and once this is done we can now forward to the home gsp and we can now forward to home gsp so now you can say okay uh, we have the request dispatcher variable no it was uh, the scope is now okay scope was only within the if statement so you can reuse that same name uh get servlet context dot get named dispatcher okay and this name can be home home gsp okay and just give it the name as home gsp okay we'll create this home gsp we have to still create it and dispatcher dot forward request and response okay so that should be the login servlet right see uh, all the activities in the login servlet are clear what we are doing currently right first thing always fetch the parameters fetch the parameters from the request so anything which the any form which is being submitted get all the information from there okay collect all information next do the validation part okay so this is where we uh, oh, that validation part we understand is being done by the user dao okay so we create an object of that type and ask it to do the authentication in our case this is how we have done okay and then we do the checking if the user is valid or not right if not valid okay go to login gsp if he is valid check for the remember me okay if that remember me is not null okay we will need to add the cookies okay and we have the uh, fine and uh, because there is a successful login right here is what we should normally how we should if that any time you do a login you will be actually creating a new session so new session is don't just say don't use only this statement okay this statement someone gets okay let me use this one fine in this case what can happen is a earlier login would mean okay you have that earlier information already available fine but we actually would like to discard and go ahead with the new whatever the session is now available fine new session to be created okay now see one thing what i have done is i have set an attribute for the user okay now one more thing uh, you may very commonly have some activities like you know you create a shopping cart or some such thing okay so uh, right at the type of login you want to create a, a session uh, a cart for him okay what would what would be a cart cart would be a list of product okay cart is nothing but for this user what are the products he has selected already fine so i'm just uh, giving a small uh, example here okay uh, this we will not be using it right now but we'll say okay or you may say okay let me create a list of product okay fine uh, selected card products equals new and maybe you want to use a array list object fine and uh, then what you should be doing is session dot set attribute okay and that's your cart okay so now what happens is for this user i have a empty i have created a empty list and kept it in the uh, along with in the session okay now any other servlet fine when a, a subsequent invocation of any other servlet before he has done a logout where we do a session dot invalidate any time if he wants he can always say session dot get attribute use the card variable fine card name and this name which is there okay by which this is identified okay so this card name can be used to get the list in which he can do adding 
he can add, he can remove whatever he wants. Now he is, uh, this array list which is created here is going to be available throughout till he does a logout. Okay. Or there is a timeout because of which the session gets invalidated. So this stays with the session. That's what we want. Okay. Session dot set attribute. We want this list to stay with the session. Okay. This user's cart is here. Okay. So cart products. Uh, I have used a variable name. That's fine. It's a local variable. What's important is the name by which this list is remembered in the session. In this session, the list is remembered by the name called cart. The type is list of product. Okay, fine. Some other uh, fine. So, okay, okay. Let's say uh, instead of product. Uh, okay. Uh, now, just for the sake of it, I'm not using so that we can actually see something happening. Okay. Uh, I, instead of product, I'll use it as a string. Okay. So it's not a cart of products, but rather product names. Okay. Fine. Uh, actual thing would be a product. Right, that would be more appropriate, but at this moment, instead of having to create a class called product, right, to just go away from that, I am just using the, uh, just trying to avoid creating another class called product uh, in our model, okay. And instead, let's say, so you would, maybe there is a book example also, right. So, uh, books to be selected, right. So, it would be a list of book, okay. Fine. And you have a book DAO which is connecting to a database and able to fetch right from the database and uh, give all the uh, items. Right? So you should be having methods there right? uh, in a uh, book DAO. Right? So you create a data access object for all the books to fetch them from a database. And so similar activity, right? But here, for the uh, sake of it, what I am doing here is I am just creating a list of string which are card product names okay and we can see how this can be managed in a session okay we'll see that right when uh, this is clear so when he logs in there is a empty uh, if there is you know if you intend to have a card right we have an empty card uh, uh, empty list to manage the card okay when it could be some other data structure. You don't want a list, you want to use a set or maybe you want to use a map which may be more appropriate. Think of the appropriate data structure which has to be managed for this user. Okay. Fine. I'll show you an example with this list, right? Now we have to build a home GSP. Okay. Fine. And we'll see some of the things about this from in the home GSP. Okay, let's see a home JSP. Uh, but okay, fine. Let's save and compile this. Uh, and this is login JSP. It is dependent on anything which we have not yet created. Yeah, we it is dependent DO we have created, so that's fine. Okay, so let's save this and compile. This is login servlet and. Okay, and have a C minus D dot dot backslash Tom at uh, web apps academic backslash uh, web INF classes. Okay, that's always the destination for my compilation. Okay, and uh, what is it that, uh, okay, we want the class path to include dot dot backslash Tom get uh, lib and servlet API jar. And now we compile org forward academic okay user DAO okay let's compile user DAO it's okay uh, yeah yeah I think we have forgotten a comma somewhere. Because of one comma there, yeah, I think there's a problem. Yeah, line number 
other things are finite since okay, let's check again okay it needs a user info also to be available and at the same time right that's what it is uh, not able to find right model does not exist okay Okay, let me put it here. Or, uh, okay, see one thing what I am also doing now is I am just trying to include semicolon, okay, dot dot backslash tomcat9 backslash, oh, everything is gone. Uh, in tomcat9, we have the uh, web apps okay and web apps we have the academic and in this web banner we have the classes okay so this also we are including in the class part right because our compiled classes are lying here okay we have our own compiled classes because user info is our class and we would like to include that here okay and now let's compile org Rollwala academic and we have the DAO backslash. Okay, so it has compiled. Fine, just like uh, so, DAO is one thing which we have compiled. We have to compile the servlet and we want to compile the login servlet or uh, servlet star.java. Okay, and they are all compiled. So, yeah, compilation is fine. Okay. And dot dot backslash tomcat9 backslash bin backslash data. Oops. Okay. So let's start tomcat. And yesterday, some of the things were, were it was half working, right? And yeah, okay. Okay, let's open the uh, I think here it's not working, right? This academic directly, it's not working. That welcome file list didn't work, right? And I, I, I'll just try one thing there, trying to make the correction over there, okay? There's one correction in the web XML, probably that can fix, okay? So I'm just, uh, we'll just try, try out one uh, fix mm -hmm. in the web XML, okay? Uh, in the web XML where we have written the welcome file list. Uh, yeah, in the welcome file list, you don't write with a starting with a slash. Okay, you just write like this. Okay, fine. Without the initial slash. Okay, backslash is not needed. And okay, now since I made change in the web dot XML, I'll have to reload the application. Okay, reload it, and let's try this time. Yeah. Okay. So the, uh, that problem was with the initial uh, slash appearing in the URL for in the welcome file list. Right. And if we do assign, and this was working yesterday, right? Yeah. We have this working. Okay. And uh, we had what James and James two zero two four, right? Uh, okay, let's give a wrong username password. Ah, we didn't provide for it. Oh, our login page needs to be updated to show a message, right? Okay, where do we want to put the message? 
बिलो दिस और प्रायर टू दिस लॉग इन आई डी वेर डू वी नॉर्मली सी इट जस्ट बिलो द सबमिट अच्छा सबमिट क्वेरी यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज दिस लेबल राइट ओके एनी सो लेट्स अपडेट द लॉग इन जी एस पी ऑल्सो login gsp is not open yet okay in the web hangar yeah login gsp is outside right it's here right here itself okay so uh, before the form or after the form you want to show a message okay now how do i show the message okay okay uh, see uh, i'll show the various transitions which we do here okay uh, so i'm not giving you the a uh, very correct uh, way of doing it right at the beginning and we'll make updates to this file later okay fine to do it the correct way okay but yes let's see how we can do it as a java programmer initially i know about the in jsp i can write a scriptlet so let's write the scriptlet okay though it's not a good idea to use scriptlet for this okay fine so we'll say if okay So in the scriptlet, what I'm looking for is a string message is equal to uh, we have the request object dot get when we have used the attribute name called message. Okay, but this would then the return type for get attribute is an object, so we'll need to cast it as a string. Okay, right. Basically, we are writing one uh, small scriptlet to do what we want, right? Okay, and if if message is not equal to null okay so if there is a message which has been set if message is not equal to null in which case yeah what do you want to do okay in which case yeah uh, you want to do the out yourself or let the expression take care of it okay so i want to show i want to show uh, request okay i want to show the message yeah we have a variable called message we have right we just declared a variable called message which we can use here okay so if that is the case just show the message if message is not null show the message okay and then we can again have this just to end the if okay this is just to end the braces for the if okay see this can, uh, when doing the translation this will go as it is okay then whatever we have written as expression will say so if start braces and then this will be saying out dot print message okay and then again this will be picked up okay and after that it will continue with that out dot right okay and in double quotes whatever is there okay fine so this is how you might so it's up to you where you want to put it okay but uh, see at the end uh, this will be much easier than this all this code which i am writing actually reduces to one very simple 
uh, expression language el yet so it uh, translates into one simple expression uh, i'll put that expression once this works okay so let's see if this is working or not right this is our gsp okay and let's make it work okay okay so let's give some wrong input Okay, so here, uh, servlet exception error uh, with servlet test. Okay, login servlet. Oh, we haven't written the login servlet. We have the login servlet. We compile login servlet, right? Okay, let's check the web XML. Have we got all the things correctly? In the web XML, uh, we should be having an entry for the login servlet. I think where is the welcome? These are the other things. Welcome GSP, welcome servlet, login servlet, and here is the login academic.servlet.login servlet. Fine. We, I think we compiled this. and slash login that's a url pattern for the login servlet okay let's read the error message again Okay, let's reload the application. Some changes which we have done. You may just reload the application and check it. Reloaded the application. Let's do a sign in. And we can give some wrong input. Okay, it could not create the login servlet object. Okay, that's one thing. So we can check the login servlet class. Uh, some problem with creating the instance of login servlet class. It's called uh, okay ORD. Spelling, I think this is right, right? Yes, and then the login servlet. It extends from the HTTP servlet, so that should be okay. We have the do post method. Ah, yeah. Instantiation error should not happen, though. Okay. The kind of thing which we have written should not result in instantiation uh, error, but there has to be a different error. I, I have seen one error is already there in our coding. Okay. okay, not in this method. Okay, it's not within this method, the error which I'm talking about, but the error is more in the login JSP. There is one error in the login JSP. But the error being shown is related to okay, form. Uh, here is the form action equal to login. So this should be okay. Yeah. Uh, can someone see one uh, some problem, something which doesn't match from the code which we have written as far as the login servlet is concerned? Login servlet, something here does not match what we have written in login GSP. The cursor is at the place where we have to make a change. Okay, I'll show the login servlet again. And this is, uh, you're seeing this, right? This is login.js, and here's the login servlet. 
way we have written the login servlet. Can someone see some problem? No one could see this problem? Uh, anyone can see what's the problem? Okay, this is what I'm showing, right? This is the code. Okay, fine. Login sublet, what we have written is this. And this is the login JSP. It has said action equal to login. Okay, and that action equal to login, it matches my slash login here, right? It matches the slash login. So this is because of the slash login, we are using login. Okay, but still there is some other problem in this line. Yeah, someone can point out what is it? Want to see that code again? Login sublet? This is the login sublet. See, from what you are seeing here, uh, it can be found out what's the error, uh, what's the problem here. The problem is related to, okay. Which method have you overridden in login servlet? And when you are seeing there is a do post method, yeah, how do, uh, how do you access this one? You can suggest a change. Method equal to post. Right? Form you can you need to specify method equal to post. Okay. So unless you put method equal to post, it's not going to invoke the to post method there. Okay. So with this. Let's try again. Okay, now it says not form. So, Okay, it's the same server. So, uh, there's a problem related to instantiation. Okay. ORG role wala academic dot servlet dot login servlet that class name seems to be okay. This matches, right? This matches our this name here. Okay. This has to match the name which we are using here. And it matches up to that servlet thing. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, see, uh, once I pasted here, I could see. You can see there is a spelling mistake. Okay, so this spelling mistake should be in the web XML file because that's a place from where the server picks up the things. Okay, so here it's a name of the servlet class where the error has occurred. Okay, here this is okay. This name of the class is written correctly. Okay. 
Whereas here it's showing okay. I shall I missed it this one. Sorry. Class not found. Which class is not found? It could not load this class. Org rollwala academics of lit and login so lit. Okay. If it's not able to find a class, fine. Let's check how did we compile. Did we keep the minus d correctly? Yeah, minus d is correct. Academic web enough classes. Okay. Uh, we can and have we compiled dash login. Uh -huh. In servlet folder, what are the things we have? Welcome servlet only. Oh, where is the login servlet dot Java? Oh, the problem is we have not saved it at the right place. It seems this uh, login servlet is not saved at the right place. Okay, where did it go? SRC ORG Rolala. Ah, it went wrong place. Yeah, here it should have been saved. Sorry, yeah. It was the wrong folder for the uh, login servlet dot Java file. Okay, we'll compile it again. It has used the list, it has used map, user the old, unable to find. Okay. Few imports are missing. Import. Model and DO both we have to import and util. Yeah, that should compile. Okay, so that gets compiled and yeah, now if you look at the whole thing, it should, this should work now. Okay, we'll have to reload the application because of the compilation which we have done. Okay. We have some wrong entry and try this. Okay. Then, so it comes with this message, okay? A wrong, incorrect username or password. And you have to do a login again. That is, uh, okay. let's let's do a correct login. No, it's not the correct one. The user DAO, yeah, gains Jack to zero to four. Sorry, a 
okay fine so now uh, it has gone ahead but now uh, we haven't developed the home.gsp okay so that's where the problem is now clear okay now the problem is related to home gsp okay it's a forward where the problem has occurred right so when we are forwarding to home gsp we haven't created a home gsp fine so let's have a home gsp Uh, we, one thing is we want a logout button. Okay, so sign out, and so give a sign out. And once it is there, right? Let me get out. One blank line, and then, uh, yeah. And you here you would like to display all the products which he has selected. So how will you display that? You want to write a for loop, right? Oh, so use a scriptlet. There are better ways than using a scriptlet, but yeah, currently we haven't explored that part of the we have haven't explored the tags and the expression language for jsp so fine so once we'll initially write like this and then we'll introduce the expression language and the tags okay tag library and then we'll be uh, rewriting all of this again okay list of product names selected and here you can have a maybe before this you would like to show it in the form of a table Okay, and there will be slash table in between. How do you show from the table? Yeah, uh, table, and uh, you will have a header part for the table. Tr td, and what will be? Okay, and then here we have a for loop for each. Okay, before I go for a for each, I must fetch the. Uh, okay, so before I can go into the loop part, I can actually write a code. Okay, yeah, it's part of this. So before this, in this itself, I can say list of string. Okay, product names equals cast into a list of string. Okay, and we will have session dot get attribute 
and is called the cart right when we have we have created one attribute called cart okay which gives us the product names it's a list of string when we uh, recollect this is what we have done in the login servlet so it would be blank initially so that's fine okay then for each string product name in product names okay okay so this is just the end of the for okay but in between this for and the end of for what you would be doing is you'll be putting an expression okay and that expression will be okay so what you might like to do is a tr okay you will have a td and within the td you have the expression expression is product and the variable which we have declared here okay that name that's what is coming here okay and then we have the slash td and the slash tr And so this is the way you may, this is one of the ways, okay, fine, where uh, you would show the items from a table. Uh, you may also like to do something like, okay, after the, below the table, okay, you might like to show some buttons, like you would like to add or remove or some such things, right? So other options can be created, add new product or, fine. So options that you can... And you can think of how to add those options. You can design the table and design uh, some more things in this form. Okay. Fine. Uh, we can uh, programmatically we may add a few names and see that they do appear in the home page. And what we are saving here is Academic web INF and we have the JSP folder where we keep the home.js. Okay. So that's the home.jsp. And so we are ready with the home.jsp to which it will be forwarded. Okay. Let's check the web XML. We have created a class in uh, servlet entry for this. No, no servlet entry for home GSP. Okay, similar to this file. Okay, and I'm just copying it okay. because that's a JSP file. And we will have one more J of servlet where it will be called home JSP. This is the home.jsp. Yeah, it's still as Okay. Okay, I think yeah, we need to reload.
Okay, a few things don't match. Okay, the name is home GSP and what does login server do? Forward where? There's a name dispatcher, Achha, H upper lower case. Okay, so this will have to be lower case. Yes, okay. Reload and then So now it's a problem with the uh, JSP code. So you can see uh, it will show you where, uh, where the problem is. So it is at line 11. Okay. Fine. I think the casting to a string uh, list of string is okay. List cannot be resolved to a type. Yeah. Okay. So we need the imports, right? See list that it is java.util.list. So it's unable to resolve this. That's the error. Okay. So in a JSP page, how do you change? How do you specify import in a JSP page? This is the JSP page. How do you specify import through a directive, right? Percentage at the rate page directive import equal to java dot util star. Achha. And we wanted to show the name also, right? So we will need one more import, which is for org dot rollwala dot uh, academic dot. After academic, we will have uh, model user info. Okay. When we have the user info, we need to be showing the user info also on this page. Okay. So on the home page, uh, one is a logout button. Okay. And uh, before the list of products, let's show the uh, user information, right? So we'll just say, okay. So let's have H3. And where we'll just say welcome. Okay. Welcome. And then yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay, we would like to use certain expression for that. We might write some scriptlet in the beginning. See, all these requirements, you'll see, once we understand tags, all these things which I'm, you know, all this Java code which I'm writing, most of it will vanish. Okay, so at this moment, the JSP is slightly complex. Okay, but it gets simplified. It will very much be simplified later. Okay, fine. So, what's the first thing you should be doing? We have that user info object, right? You can say user info user equals fine, and cast into user info. Okay, and this is session dot get attribute. 
and fine we called him as user right so first get the attribute session dot get attribute okay so this is one variable which now we have got fine right? user is a variable available to us so now we can use expression with that okay here we'll say user dot get name we have the get name method right get name okay so welcome and name name of the user okay i want to say from and want to put the city user dot get city okay so it will just say okay you are from switzerland i am welcoming you from switzerland And there's the slash h3. Okay, fine. So we updated the home GSP to include the user info. Okay, uh, for us one error was import was missing for java.it. Okay, so we have added two imports. We have added import for the user info also. And now we are using the user info. Okay, so here's the sign out button. Welcome. That's a name from, and that's a city. Okay, and list of products. Okay, uh, fine. This list is currently empty, and if you want uh, programmatically, if you add into the uh, user uh, into that, I think where is it that we have defined it? We have created a login JSP at the time of login. Okay, suppose in the login servlet at the time of login, uh, you want to uh, you don't want the empty list. Okay, this card should not be empty. Fine, and you want to add something into that list. Okay, just for testing purpose, card product names dot add. Okay, uh, so you want to have a laptop maybe. Uh, you want to add more things? Okay, then just adding a hard coded. Okay, just to see that uh, in the home page we can see the products, but otherwise we should be managing them through interaction, right? Okay. So there should be an add button, remove button, and then we should be able to see them in the home page itself. That's it. So you log in and you sh are shown the list of products which you have already got in your cart. Or you may create a thing called uh, go to the cart page and see the list of pro uh, selected products there separate. And one more JSP may be needed in that. Right? So it's up to you how you design the flow now. Okay. And this just to give idea. How the we okay, we'll have to recompile and reload and run the code again. Okay, and uh, designing the page, everything that's up to you now. And now, what is pending is a sign out. So, if I say sign out, oh, I don't find a logout uh, servlet, right? Okay, so this is what is pending here. We can finish this uh, logout servlet. Okay.
okay this would be a link fine there's nothing like a post which will be there sorry uh, public void do get fine so this is fine with do get Yeah, so what do we do? First thing, if someone says uh, log out, right? Is equal to request object. Okay. Fine. And if If session is not equal to null, okay, fine. Uh, you might say if session is not equal to null, then uh, string fine, Plus okay. I, what I'll be doing here is I'll be using user info user equal to get attribute user. Okay. Uh, we'll have to use a casting. And uh, okay, if user is not equal to another, right? And you should be seeing that that attribute is there. If that attribute is fine found, then we'll set up a message. Okay, so the message is user, and we'll say user dot get name. Okay, plus find out. Okay, so we just set this as the message, right? Uh, because we understand from here we have to go to the login JSP and login JSP we are we understand is showing a message. Okay, so set this message and set this as an attribute. So request dot set attribute. Okay. okay basically this is the message attribute name which the login server dot gsp is looking for okay fine and in any case uh, okay well because this is what we have fetched we have created a message and if the session is not equal to null okay only in that case session dot invalidate right we have to invalidate the session and now forward Uh, get subject context dot get request dispatcher okay, slash login dot js. Okay, so this takes you to the log, it should then be able using this dispatcher, you should be able to go to the uh, dispatcher dot forward and request comma. Uh, this is logout servlet and we have to save it in the src. Yeah. 
Log of servlet to Java. Yeah. Let's compile. Okay. User info. Yeah, if you forgot the import for that again. So this compiles and now if we reload, okay, we will have to reload the application again. Uh, our web XML is, uh, I think our oh, web XML also needs an update. We have the web XML okay, and we need to create that logout server. And just like the login servlet, we'll have a okay. Uh, we'll need a mapping. Reload. Okay. And we have the sign out, right? And if I do a sign out. Okay, so it just tells me who is logged out, okay, and you can log in again. Okay, uh, okay. let's do this, right, we want to remember now, okay. So, uh, what the current effect here is that it will only be creating cookies, but we are currently not using the cookies at the time of login. Okay, fine, it says, uh, yeah, so it's picked up the user correctly and then it's giving this. If I do a logout, this is fine. Uh, only thing what now you may need to do is to check here, okay, uh, in this. Firefox, you need to do a check. Uh, check uh, where are the cookies? Uh, how do we check the cookies? Okay, so there should be cookies. Uh, I think we have the settings. Okay, so under settings, privacy and security, you should be able to see the cookies which are already set. Okay, cookies and site data, right? And manage data. Okay. Uh, does it show me cookies here? Share cookies. I, I don't know. Uh, it's only showing two. Why our cookie is not shown? It should have added the cookie. Achha, okay. I think there are some settings because of which it may probably not have stored the cookie. 
Any, uh, you can try at your end, okay? See what we have done to add the cookie uh, in the coding. What has been done? Okay, to add the cookie, what we have done here is here. If remember me, yeah, right. If remember is not equal to null, then response dot add cookie, and we created a cookie where we said login ID and whatever the value of the login ID is. PSSWD, whatever the value of the password is, and that's how we are storing the cookies. Okay, fine. So this should have resulted in creation of a cookie. Uh, only thing here to check is whether when we checked, we tick the checkbox, fine. It should have entered this place. Okay, fine. You can see. And we can check whether it's entering this place or not. We forgot to check the cookie. Anyway, let's sign out. We'll have the checkbox and then let's submit. Okay, now what should have happened is uh, on this, it should have shown here is completed adding cookies yeah it did enter that point okay now uh, on this you also will be shown if there are certain errors at runtime and exceptions will uh, come here also so maybe earlier something happened fail to clear soft references okay this is fine this can be ignored okay but yeah, it is entering the if part, okay? It's doing the adding cookies. No, here it's not adding. It's not showing here. Okay, maybe you can try in your browser and uh, it may give a different behavior. Okay, I think some settings here, privacy is slightly more stronger and so cookie may not have been 
अलाउड किया बट सिंपल थिंग राइट हैविंग सवलेट नाउ ओनली वन थिंग विच रिमेन्स इज यू नो वाई वी केप वंस वेलकम सर्वलेट द पर्पज ऑफ अ वेलकम सर्वलेट वॉज टू चेक फॉर कुकीज इफ आई फाइंड कुकीज आई डायरेक्टली जम्प टू द होम जे एस पी एंड नॉट शो द लॉग इन जे एस पी फाइन यू आर गेटिंग द पॉइंट See, this is the first screen, right? Uh, uh, sorry, this one. Welcome. When this is the welcome page. So, if someone is already, he, I find cookies there, right? We have a welcome servlet. It's not doing anything except for forwarding to this page. It would not forward to this page. Okay. Before forwarding to this page, it should check with the cookies. Do I find the cookies? If the cookies are there, let me do a login now, automatic login. And if cookies are not there, then only I go to the welcome GSP. Okay, then that change should be done. Okay. Fine. So any questions? Yeah. I'll save this. I'll push this code to the Git repository. Yes, sir. And so, and so, any questions? Yeah. See, next thing we'll be looking at will be the tags. How do we make that JSP much simpler? Okay, uh, there's a much simpler way of writing a JSP. how to fetch all the data setting attributes is done from servlets but those attributes are being displayed by a jsp jsp's job is to just show we call it as a view why we call it as a view because it's meant for displaying the model right so anything from the model will have to be displayed in the jsp so we have basically there are tags meant specifically for that purpose there is a expression language which will Uh, enable us to do those things even much more easily okay fine uh, i can just give a very quick demo okay i'll just make a very small change okay i am not going to explain the change but the change which i am going to write maybe is in the okay in this login jsp i had to write all of this right yeah okay so let me comment this okay right so understand it's as if all these lines will go away okay all these lines would have gone away and i would have simply been writing uh i, I just want to show a message that's what this is for, meant for and i'll just be saying dollar braces that's it and this would work <laughs> see all that code which you are seeing is never needed it's a message is an attribute just show me that message which is there as an attribute maybe it's in the request or in the session wherever it may be i don't care it is available somewhere yes there is a particular sequence in which it will find and show me the attribute message that's the expression language so this is how simplified it would be i want to see a message here you can put it under h1 h2 whatever right you want to put it in bold or any such thing whatever formatting that you can add but here yeah, fetching the message or oh, that's this one this simple fetching any attribute will be this simple okay Okay, want to see this work? Okay, let's just verify this is working. Let's do a sign in. Uh, yeah, it's working, right? That JSP is working with this. It's the same. Clear? Yeah, all that has been commented out. 
okay this entire code was commented and such a simple thing is what you write uh, so all this is not there just assume i can I, I could have just removed the entire thing from this and i'm just saying okay i want to see a message okay and i'll undo i'll keep the old things also okay but uh, yeah but this is what is going to work right so i have not explained what is this yet okay but we'll come to that right Okay, yeah. So, any questions? Yeah. And if no questions, uh, then we'll. So, next uh, we'll meet uh, maybe on Monday. I, I'll let you know. Uh, mon mostly, yes, we should meet on Monday and same time, 2 30, 4 30. Okay.